Yeah, hi guys. So let's look at this next question from CAT 2021 slot two, and this question is from a sequence series that is arithmetic progression algebra. It says that three positive integers x, y, and z are in arithmetic pro progression, and uh, and if y minus x is greater than two and x, y, z equal to five into x plus y plus z, then z minus x equals what? So what I can think here is it's written that x y z is equal to five into x plus y plus z, okay. And what happens actually when x y z are in arithmetic progression? So when x y z are in arithmetic progression, so what happens in that case? Y is equal to x plus z by two, and you know, obviously right. When like for example one two three is in AP, so middle term two is always the average of the extreme terms, right? So y equal to x plus z by two. That means x plus z equal to two y. Okay. So I can put that x plus z equal to two y. I can put here. So I'll be getting x y z is equal to five into x plus z is two y. Two y plus y is three y. So five into three y. Now what can happen? Because I know that y is a positive integer, so I can cancel y both sides. Hey na. Therefore I can get x into z equal to fifteen. So if I get x into z equal to fifteen, so because x and z are positive integers, so the combinations possible are or what basically they are uh, now you know that y minus x is more than two. Okay, we'll take care of all that things first. What are the combinations possible? So z minus x is fifth. Uh, this is uh, I got sorry x into z I got fifteen right. So the values will be either three into five or one into fifteen like that. You know. So fifteen has only this four factor one three five fifteen, so this is how we can break it. Okay, now it it's further given that uh, z minus x is more than four. Okay, uh, sorry, y minus x is more than two. So if y minus x is more than two, so what I can think here is y minus x is more than two. So if y minus x is more than two. I can put this. I I can put this value here, okay, and I can try to convert this equation in terms of z also, okay. So y minus x is more than two, and uh, if I if I can if I try to convert z here, so x plus z is two y, okay. So I want to convert into z and x. So in that case, I can just put here y equal to x plus z by two. So if I put y is equal to x plus z by two here, so x plus z by two minus x is greater than two. That means x plus uh, z uh, minus two x is greater than four. It it means that z minus x is greater than four. So one more equation I got that is z minus x is greater than four. Okay. So now I need to see that. Z minus x is more than four, okay, and x into z is three into five and one fifteen. So what values will be possible here? So I can see that uh, if the difference between z and x is more than two, so first case is wrong. In that case, only second case is possible. So z will be equal to uh, and z minus x is more than four. That means z will be equal to fifteen, of course, because z should be more than x. Z is fifteen and x should be one. That's that's the combination. If Z is fifteen and x is one, I can get the value of y also. So what is y? X fifteen plus one sixteen is two y. So y will be equal to eight. So here I'll be getting y is equal to eight. So what I need to find here? I need to find the value of Z minus x. So Z minus x would be fourteen. So fourteen would be the answer. Z minus x would be fourteen. So fourteen would be the answer. And that's the question. Okay, thank you. And also, do give this combat, guys. So this combat uh, is on Sunday, twelve uh, noon. Okay, so Sunday, twelve noon, you have this combat, and this is a, a good quiz experience with live quizzes, lot of attractive offers, free scholarships, and uh, with good quality of questions. Okay, so do enroll with the link in the description and uh, give this on Sunday, coming Sunday, twelve noon. Okay, thank you.